the run is every bit as strong as it was 100 years ago. It's amazing to see every year. It just keeps coming back. This is a nexus on this planet. It's hard to quantify. There's no place on Earth like this left. Bristol Bay is the largest sockeye salmon fishery in the world. I'm John Lawrence. I'm the general manager for Silver Bay Seafoods in Naknek. A huge amount of energy from the sun, from the ocean, from all the life forms comes swimming into Bristol Bay every summer. Just pure energy, pure energy in the form of sockeye salmon. And it comes in and it fills the rivers and it feeds the animals, provides nutrients for the river system itself, it feeds all the human beings, it provides the livelihood for all the human beings up here. This huge amount of energy from all over the North Pacific flows into Bristol Bay and up these rivers and then disperses itself outward again. And so it's a big flow of energy that happens every single summer. It's fantastic. The fish we catch are they're like firm and hearty and luscious and like bright silver and they're so sparkly and when they move through the water there's like these shimmers of blue and green. Everything I do affects my son. When I am out fishing now it's like oh is this a good decision for me and is this a good decision for my son? Is he gonna see the same things I'm seeing? I'm George Wilson Jr. I live here in Naknek, but I grew up in Igiagik. Ever since birth, I've been part of the sockeye salmon. I grew up in a, a very you know, subsistence lifestyle that was handed down through my mom you know, and her ancestors since the recording of time, I, I imagine. We're from the land here and from the salmon. I'm a commercial fisherman, a subsistence user out here been doing that my whole life. I started when I was eight on my dad's boat. I've always wanted to hang out with my dad, and he was my, my big hero, and I've been captaining my own boat for 21 years now, but been part of the fisheries since 1980. It's the three, four o'clock in the morning sunrises that sings to, to my soul, I guess. Goes to show how special this place really is and how special the salmon are. They need uh, a pristine habitat, and this is what Bristol Bay is. Every river stream the sockeye spawn at are all just pristine and as wild as they were from time memorial. The largest threat that I see to the health of this fishery is the pebble mine at the headwaters of two major river systems out here that produce you know, millions of, of sockeye. And they're talking about digging a, an open pit mine you know, thousands of feet down. That will have a negative impact on all the headwaters up there that the salmon rely on. I couldn't imagine putting that kind of threat on, on this fishery. Salmon runs around the world have been degraded, and it's almost always degraded because of development. This fishery is so important to this region. It's the economic driver for so many indigenous people. We have to consider our part of our job here as, as kind of in trust. We've been entrusted with this fishery. You know, we're responsible to steward the environment as well, because without a, an undeveloped, pristine environment, sockeye salmon won't flourish. Bristol Bay sockeye salmon is delicious. The way we're harvesting it here is such that we can bring that amazing flavor forward and deliver it all around the world. The amazing thing about salmon is they're going to go back to the place that they came from. And that's why it's so important to keep their spawning grounds sacred. You can't destroy the salmon habitat because they won't come back. And once they're gone, they're gone forever. There's 
four or five hundred billion dollars worth of metal sitting in the ground up there. And it attracts people that want to make money. And that's pretty much all they want to do. They don't have a relationship with this place. They don't really care that much about the people or the history or they just want to make the money. And so it, it's kind of a betrayal of this place because for them to prosper, they have to degrade this place. The mining industry has a terrible history of giving assurances and then not falling through with those assurances. And it's the people who live here and the environment that pays the price. That's the reason sockeye salmon are so abundant in Bristol Bay. It's the undeveloped aspect of this environment that makes it so special. We've messed up so many other fisheries in the world. This wild stock is amazing, it's strong, and it's one of the last ones left on this planet. Is the infrastructure that we're trying to build worth losing this resource that we've had forever, that we can have forever? That's the thing, we can have this forever. We can have this forever if we don't make the same mistakes we've made in the past.